Hello and welcome to Let's Ride Around Europe. Um, you've joined me in uh, a place I can't remember the name of. Just completely gone out of my mind for a moment. Volkermarkt. I've just done a quick reroute. Um, do you think some something a little more interesting? I hope. And um, yeah, we're on our way to Vienna from Ljubljana. Today is day fifteen. And um, yeah, I've just been looking at my tires, and oh boy, that rear tire is a second exit. That rear tire is a bit more worn than I thought. I am actually going to have to get it replaced. Um, and I'm really annoyed at that because it's, uh, it's done 12,000 kilometers. So, not actually very much. Um, 12,000 kilometers to me is like really bad. Um, uh, yeah, like, to the point where if I see a motorcycle shop, I might just stop and be like, hey, could you replace a tire? Do you have something that I could buy from you? that will get me all the way home. Um, like it's that bad. Um, and it definitely shouldn't be that bad at 12,000 kilometers. Second exit. It's like to me a tire should be replaced around um, 15, 16,000 kilometers. And for it to need urgent replacement at 12k is just like, what? So if we see a motorcycle shop, we are likely to stop. But, uh, I have set my thing to take me to Leoben. Yeah, yeah, what is this surface? Because um, we want to go sort of into more the central mountainy bit of uh, Austria rather than It's a car place. Yeah, we want to go into more of the central bit of Austria rather than the uh, skirting the south. Because the central bit looks more interesting. Yeah, we are going to have to be a little careful with our tires. Because um, I am very soon going to be down to the wire. Uh, and that's really bad like really bad like you can see the wear getting there like that that should be 20,000 kilometers not 12 it's not I don't think I'll be buying Diablo Rosso's again uh, they're just they're what came with the bike and uh, I don't want to be all negative about it, um, it's just like, this is going to be a thing that we have to deal with. The uh, 
the outside of the tower aren't too bad, it's apparently just like the middle. I guess it just doesn't have that, that multi-compound thing that uh, stuff like Michelin. I'm really used to my Michelins, you know. Uh, my Michelins are absolutely amazing tires. Uh, if I could get a set of Michelins for it, oh well. But what I'm tempted to do is just like stop at the first bike shop I see and be like, what what rear tires do you have? Can you put them on right now? I should have checked if there was something actually in Polka Mark. Surprised, honestly. I'm just really surprised. This is really pretty, though. Seven and a half thousand miles. That's really bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Sorry, just like, you know, I, I can't believe how bad that is. Um, like, I'd expect these tires to be okay to the end of the, the trip and then be like, yeah, you know, now they need changing. But no. So yeah, uh, if I see a bike shop, I will stop. If they can't do it, they can't do it. Um, I should be good to Vienna. Um, and there will be opportunities in Vienna. There may even be opportunities not too far beyond Vienna. Because basically I'm doing Vienna and then I'm staying in Bratislava for a bit. And I'm not even going to record trip into Bratislava because it's too short um, and it's not interesting so if I can't get it done in Vienna I'll get it done in Bratislava but yeah just I'm stunned by how bad that is absolutely stunned the front one seems okay uh, I guess I guess that's what like 215 newton meters does, but still, this castle, this castle, this castle is cool. Roundabout second exit. Griffin. Yeah, it's not even like I've been doing dumb stuff with it, like, I haven't done any burnouts or any of that kind of thing. I've l literally just been riding it. Yeah, I just, wow. Ooh, 
Stinger GT. Um, it should be okay to Vienna. Um, I'm just like really like I'm, it's doing me a concern, you know. Uh, is doing me a concern. Yeah, they have a Husqvarna sign, but it's all like farm equipment or garden equipment. What? But, uh, yeah, may maybe there'll be a dealership along the way. And we'll stop and we'll be like, do you have a tire? <laughs> In this size. I should check the tar size. I don't even care if it's a good tire. Um, it is a pretty common size. That's, you know, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty unexpected. But, 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 um, I'm already glad that we redirected this way. Uh, because I like cool roads. Um, I like this. It's not even particularly slower than the route I was going to take, according to Google. So, like, why? It does have a couple of boring bits. Anyone does. Um, yeah. And what's good about this is that we're um, keep it off the middle of the tire.
Sorry, it's still in my brain, like, how, how have I managed to do this? How have I ruined this tire so quickly? <laughs> looks pretty. Uh, I know it's very hard to see with the trees and stuff, but I'm getting glimpses here and there. It looks very pretty. Looks like some pretty countryside. I can't help wonder if it's because normally I'd be braking with some rear brake as well and I'd be using engine braking so I don't even know that it's the regen that's doing it but um, yeah it's curious I'm suddenly I'm obsessed with it it's all I can talk about GPS leads trucks astray. <laughs> Valley 4 that we were rapidly like rising up above, like down there. on the other side of the country. Biker schnitzel. What kind of schnitzel is a biker schnitzel? A pfeffer schnitzel is one with like pepper sauce in it. A Jaeger schnitzel is one with mushroom sauce in it. A Wiener schnitzel is plain with jam. So uh, what's a biker schnitzel? Biker schnitzel is probably with like ketchup. Let's be fair. It's kind of cool. It's like concrete and industrial, but it's kind of cool. happy with my decision to reroute in this direction. I don't know that I'm happy with my decision to open my vents again. Because uh, I thought it was going to be, like, getting hot. But uh, it's uh, gone a bit cloudy.
looks like a motorcycle dealership. Of course, motorcycle dealerships tend to be like hidden away in the back of uh, industrial estates. Doesn't really help, but um, I should really should have just used Google to find what a Volker marked. <laughs> just at the time. going offline to find something that would probably be pretty easy. I did look at taking an alternate route, um, but uh, like I was looking at Google and Google was like, oh, this go this way with this tolls, and was like, oh, okay, I've got no, I've got motorways turned off, so you know, it's not going to take me on a, a motorway. And then I looked at it. And it was like, no, uh, it's a dual carriageway that you have to pay the stupid um, sticker for. It was like, okay, fine. I mean, the sticker isn't stupid. The sticker is actually a cool idea. Um, but I f I, when I saw that like it would be tolls but not a motor, I was like, oh, it'll be one of those nice roads like I did previously where it's like, you, um, you pay to go on the really nice road, but uh, it wasn't. That makes me sad. It was just a dual car joy you need a sticker for. I don't have a sticker. The purple thing is actually for Switzerland, not Austria. Um, I figured I wouldn't take any motorways in Austria, so I wouldn't matter. I wouldn't need it. Of course, one of the things is Google just assumes you're in a car. This is kind of a cool structure. House Elizabeth. Google assumes you're in a car, so like, it'll tell me there's a toll, but there might not be a toll. Like, uh, the Czech motorways have a toll for cars, but they don't have it for, for bikes. Um, it's like, you don't have to have the sticker if you're on a bike. Uh, but both the Austrian and the, um, the Swiss ones do. So if you say no tolls on Google, um, it'll keep you off the motorways on, uh, in Czech Republic. Oh, look at this. Cool. And again. Painted colors. Yellow and orange seem to be very popular. Ooh, some nice green ones there, like very limey green. Um, it's down there. I want to be stuck behind this guy. Now, you know, yeah, um, RVs, motorhomes, whatever you want to call them, they have every right to be in the road, just like everyone else. It's a cool way to travel around and see the country, but um, they're really annoying. <laughs> but being stuck behind one is really annoying. <laughs> And they have to go slow, it's just like, it's just the nature of the thing. Um, it's not a choice.
I hope it's not just going to be like a lot of little villages and stuff along this road. That bit with the, the hills was really cool. I guess at least I could afford to just get a new tire. Oh, Wolfsburg, okay. See, the thing is, Wolfsburg is the end of the episode, and it's gonna be a slog to get through it. So I'm just going to end the episode here and pick it back up again on the other side. So, uh, if you uh, have anything to say, especially about my tires, uh, you can tell me what a terrible person I am for letting them get this bad, um, hit me up in the comments. Uh, if you... Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like. If you did, maybe you could uh, check out some of my other videos. Um, you might enjoy them too. And you know, if you do, if you do, uh, consider subscribing and hit the bell. And if you would like to reward me for entertaining you today, you can find my coffee link in the description below. Bye bye. Actually, they might have something. Come on, Kawasaki. Kawasaki will take. Shut up, Google.